Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to my all sync upgrades guides in the Old World Blues expansion for Fallout New Vegas. The sink is located at the top of the Big Mountain Dome and acts as a player housing and a place to purchase items. The sink is the testing ground for the personality subroutines which the player can find around the Big Empty. This guide will showcase and explain how to get each unique upgrade and what each upgrade does. As always, there are timestamps in the description if you wish to skip to a particular upgrade, but without further ado, let's get into the video. First up is the jukebox. This can be found at Higgs Village. Make your way into the village and head into house 108. Make your way up the stairs and head into the left hand room. On a desk next to a broken radio will be the holotope. Once installed it will allow you to swap any sonic emitter upgrade for one another. Simply choose which sonic emitter you wish to change and then choose the upgrade you wish for the weapons to become. Right on daddy, let's spin some grooves. Next up is the book chute, which can be found at Higgs Village. Make your way into the village and head into house 101. Make your way up the stairs and into the middle room. On a desk connected to a terminal will be the holotape. Once installed, it will allow you to convert any pre-war or destroyed books to blank books needed to craft skill magazines. Fantastic, citizen! Just input your quantity of seditious material on my interface, and in no time at all, I'll have you a beautiful, clean book. Won't that keep you happy and docile, citizen? Next up is the Bug Shoot Mulching Upgrade. This upgrade can be found at Little Yangzi. Head to the left of the front gate and head up the watchtower. Inside on a counter leaning against a coffee machine will be the upgrade. Once the upgrade is installed it will allow you to convert any clipboards you find into duct tape and scrap metal. The upgrade will also allow you to break down pencils into 5 lead and 1 scrap metal. Next up is the auto dock. This upgrade can be found at the Y17 medical facility. Make your way into the first room and head up the catwalk on the right hand side. Continue up the catwalk until you get to a desk with a typewriter on top. Leaning against the typewriter will be the upgrade. Once installed it will allow the player to heal all health and limb damage. It will also allow the player to remove all rads and addiction for free. If you're planning to stay a while, and rightly so I should think. Alright then, let me just fire up the old interface for you. The auto dock will also allow the player to redistribute their trait points, however this can only be done once. Concerned about the state of your mind, are you? Well, such things ain't my specialty, but I'm happy to tender my opinion as to your mental health. I should make you aware that the benefits of such a procedure are exclusive, that is, this only works once. Now are you sure this is what you want? Alright, just try to relax, this won't hurt unless your sense of self is especially vulnerable. Next up is the Autodoc Cosmetic Enhancements Upgrade. This upgrade can be found at the Y17 Medical Facility. Head to the facility and make your way into the first room. Head to the right and up the catwalk until you reach halfway. Take another right and the upgrade will be sitting on a locker shelf. Once installed it will allow the player to change their appearance for free. Next up is the Autodoc Hair Styling Enhancements Upgrade. This upgrade can be found within the Signal Hills Transmitter. Make your way to the location and enter the office. Turn to the right and leaning against a typewriter on a desk will be the upgrade. Once the upgrade is installed, it will allow the player to change their hairstyle for free. Next up is the Light Switch 01 Upgrade. This upgrade can be found at the X2 Antenna Relay Transmitter. Make your way into the transmitter and enter the first room. Make your way to the left hand corner and sitting on a desk leaning against a coffee machine will be the upgrade. Once the upgrade is installed it will allow you to turn the lights on in the living area. Next up is the Light Switch 01 Smart Lights Upgrade. This upgrade can be found at the X12 Research Center. The player will need the Sonic Emitter Upgrade to disable force fields in order to acquire the upgrade. Make your way into the facility and make your way all the way down a catwalk to the ground floor. Once at the very bottom in front of you will be a table with a projector. Leaning against the projector will be the upgrade. Once installed it will allow the player to be able to turn on some green LED lights. Once the player is exposed to the lights it will grant 2 to intelligence as well as 5 into repair and science for 12 hours. You bet I can. I bet that's more than that other tramp can do, huh? Okay. 
Next up is the Biological Research Station upgrade. This upgrade can be found at the X-22 Botanical Garden. Make your way up the stairs and into the broken building. Head to the left and on a fallen girder will be the upgrade. The upgrade will allow the player to hand in 11 different types of plants to then be planted in the garden. I love it when you talk like that. Let me just get that interface up and running for you. Once the plants are handed over, the player will then be able to harvest the plants every three in-game days. Additionally, the player will also be able to hand in the 11 different types of plants for Salient Green on a one-to-one -one basis. Next up is the Light Switch O2 upgrade. This upgrade can be found at the Big Mountain North Tunnel. Head into the tunnel and head through a right-hand door. In a room on a shelf on the left-hand side leaning against a toolbox will be the upgrade. Once installed, the player will be able to turn on the lights in the bedroom. Next up is the Light Switch O2 Mood Lights upgrade. This upgrade can be found at the Saturnite Alloy Research Facility. Head into the facility and head through a right hand door through to a production area. On the left hand side near the start of the catwalk will be the mood lights on the locker shelf. Once installed the player will be able to turn on a set of red LED lights. Once the player is exposed to the lights it will grant 2 into charisma as well as 5 into barter and speech for 12 hours. Unlike certain other light switches, I'm competent. I'd just love to turn those lights on for you. Next up is the Muggy Upgrade. This upgrade can be found at the Securiton Deconstruction Plant. Outside the plant on the back of a destroyed truck will be the upgrade. Once installed, the player will be able to speak to Muggy and ask him to turn coffee pots, coffee mugs and various play items into scrap metal and ammo crafting components. Oh sweet, sweet fulfillment! I'll break these down for you just as fast as I can! Next up is the Muggy Parts Production Upgrade. This upgrade can be found inside the Securitron Deconstruction Plant. Make your way into the plant and head down the left path through a door leading to a production area. Take some right hand stairs up and through another door to enter an upper level. On this floor will be the Securitron boss whose name translates to one from binary to ASCII characters. After destroying the boss you can find the upgrade on its corpse. Once installed the upgrade will allow Muggy to craft 50 microfusion cells, 50 energy cells and 5 scrap electronics once a day for the player. Yep, here you go! Next up is the Sync Upgrade. This upgrade can be found at the Magneto Hydraulics Complex. Make your way into the area, head down some stairs and enter the flooded room on the left hand side. At the end of the room on the left hand side on the desk will be the upgrade. Once installed, the player will be able to drink unlimited purified water. You can have as much as you like. Just uh, please don't put your lips on the faucet. It's so unsanitary. Muggy? Yeah, Muggy's alright. Next up is the sink water production upgrade. This upgrade can be found at the construction site. Make your way to the area and head southwest until you come to some destroyed machinery and vehicles. On the floor next to a skeleton will be the holotape. Once installed, the player will be able to bring empty soda and Nuka Cola, Sunset Sarsaparilla, whiskey and milk bottles to be filled up to the sink to make purified water. I can do that. They... Well, they've been thoroughly washed, haven't they? Next up is the toaster upgrade. This upgrade can be found at the cuckoo's nest. Head into the cave and head down the right hand path. On a small wooden shelf next to some torches and a skull will be the upgrade. Once installed the toaster will be able to craft a variant of the satinite fist, the satinite fist superheated. Like I said, bring me a satinite power fist and I'll hook that shit up for you! Oh baby, that is a thing of fucking beauty. Give it here, I'll soup it up for you. There you go! Have fun with that! Burn the fucking world for me! The superheated variant has a damage and crit damage increase from 35 to 55. The weapon also has a chance to deal heat damage of 2 points for 5 seconds upon a critical hit. This comes at the cost of a higher unarmed skill requirement from 45 to 55 as well as a higher strength requirement from 4 to 5. The toaster is also able to break down cameras, toasters, hot plates and irons and give the player 5 energy cells and 3 microfusion cells per item. Additionally, for each toaster the player gives the toaster, the player will receive scrap electronics. Well, well. What have we got here? Another innocent little toaster. Come here. I won't hurt you. Ha! Gotcha! Oh yes. 
The sweet smell of spilled electric guts. The sparking diodes. I fucking live for this! Adjusting lights for maximum concentration levels. Next up is the main computer layer auxiliary recharger chip mod. This upgrade can be found at the big empty west tunnel. Make your way into the tunnel and head down the tunnel and enter through the second door on the right. Continue through and take the left hand door through to another room. On the left hand side on a shelf will be the upgrade. Once installed this upgrade will allow you to purchase the layer auxiliary recharger chip mod from the sink. This mod will replenish one shot of the weapon for every four shots fired. Next up is the main computer layer prismatic lens mod upgrade. This upgrade can be found at the Signal Hills transmitter. Head to the location and follow the catwalk around to the south. Turn around to the right and head up the cliff nearby and head to the top. Once there, jump from the cliff to the Signal Hills transmitter roof. Near a bedroll and some ammo containers will be the upgrade. Once installed, the upgrade will allow you to purchase the layer prismatic lens mod. This mod will split the layer beams into three beams. If all beams hit a target, the weapon will deal an additional 30% damage. Each beam is also now capable of dealing a critical hit. Next up is the main computer K9000 Cyberdog Gun Wrestler Royal mod upgrade. This upgrade can be found within the X13 research facility. Head into the facility and enter the stealth suit testing area. Once inside continue through the door in front of the player and make your way all the way down to the end which you will find a terminal on a counter. The upgrade can be obtained after reading the second entry on the terminal. Once installed the upgrade will allow you to purchase the K9000 Cyberdog Gun Wrestler Royal mod. This mod will increase the weapon's damage by 2 points. Next up is the main computer K9000 Cyberdog Gun Mentat Chow mod upgrade. This upgrade can be found within the X13 research facility. From the last upgrade's location, turn around and head back through the area you came from. Take the first door to the right hand side and at the right hand corner will be the next terminal. The upgrade can be obtained after reading the second entry. Once installed, the upgrade will allow you to purchase the K9000 Cyberdog Gun Mentat Chow mod. This mod will increase the weapon's rate of fire by 40%. Next up is the Autodoc Y7 Implant Upgrade. This upgrade can be found within the X13 research facility. From the upgrade's last location, turn around and head down the corridor and take the right hand door. Head forward through another door and on the left hand side will be another terminal. The upgrade can be obtained after reading the first entry. Once installed, the upgrade will allow the Autodoc to implant the Y7 implant into the player. The implant will grant the player a health increase bonus of 5 points as well as providing an additional 2 points of health upon the consumption of food. The implant comes at the cost of 20,000 caps. Next up is the Autodoc M5 Implant Upgrade. This upgrade can be found at the Z14 Pepsinay DNA Splicing Lab. Head into the area and make your way down the stairs. Head all the way down the tunnel and enter the room at the very end. On the surgery table will be the upgrade. Once installed, the upgrade will allow the Autodoc to implant the M5 implant into the player. The implant will increase the player's sneak movement by 20%. The implant comes at the cost of 10,000 caps. Next up is the Autodoc Y3 Implant Upgrade. This upgrade can be found at the Z9 Crotalus DNA Preservation Lab. Enter the area and head all the way down to the end of the tunnel and enter the room at the end. On a table will be the upgrade. Once installed, the upgrade will allow the Autodoc to implant the Y3 implant into the player. The implant will remove radiation when drinking from the irradiated water source. The implant comes at the cost of 12,000 caps. The final upgrade is the Autodox C13 Implant Upgrade. This upgrade can be found at the Y17 Medical Facility. Head into the area and head to the very far right hand corner of the room. On a table near a destroyed terminal will be the upgrade. Once installed, the upgrade will allow the Autodox to implant the C13 implant into the player. The implant will grant the player an additional 10% damage against Cazadors. The implant comes at the cost of 8,000 caps. And there we have all sync upgrades within the Old World Blues expansion. I hope you found this video helpful and as always, thank you for watching.